This is a black-tailed hornet. It has a pair of short mandibles. This is a group of acrobat ants. They are extremely fierce. So what happens if we put the hornet with the acrobat ants? What will happen? Enough talk. Let's clamp one acrobat ant and toss it in with the hornet. As soon as the ant goes down, it goes straight to bite the hornet. Feeling its rear bitten, the hornet hurriedly breaks free and flaps its wings to take off. It's furious. It turns back to find the ant. Unexpectedly, the ant springs and pounces at the hornet. But the hornet snaps down with a crunch, crippling the ant on the spot. When masters clash, victory is decided in an instant. Now the hornet is fired up. Unstoppable. Let's drop in another acrobat ant. We see the second ant. First check its companion's injuries, then lunge straight at the hornet. Bitten this time, the hornet goes all out. Hornet's ghost dance. The second ant is cleaved in half in an instant. GG on the spot. Strangely, though the ant is gone, the hornet is still rolling around in pain. Why is that? All right then. Look closely, though the second ant died. Its jaws are still clamped tight on the hornet's hind leg. The hornet can't reach it, so it can only dash around wildly. Seems the hornet's eyesight isn't great today, and mine isn't much better either. Dealing now the with hornet these little is even cuties angrier. every day. It wants to vent. Let's drop in one more acrobat. As ant. soon as this third ant goes down, it circles the wall twice, then pounces at the hornet. The hornet is attacked, anger on top of it anger. It opens its big jaws to bite the ant, but the ant dodges the attack, adjusts its position, and bites the hornet's foreleg. In pain, the hornet tries to take off, but with ants hanging front and back, it loses balance and can't fly. Now the hornet is in a sorry state, scrambling everywhere, then simply drops to the ground and bites off the ant on its foreleg but the second ant is still on its hind leg. The hornet is livid. It turns back and pounces on the first ant, biting it clean in two. But that's hardly a delicacy. The formic acid is overwhelming. Some may say, one on one, an ant surely loses to a then hornet. Then what about a team fight? Okay, this time we clamp the hornet and throw it into the ant's nest. As soon as the hornet goes in, it's terrified clinging to the ceiling, afraid to come down. Then a human meddler shows up again and knocks it down. My hair. Once it drops, it lies on the ground and is mobbed by it. But the hornet isn't a pushover. It quickly takes off, squares up, and fights calmly. This is a contest of strength versus numbers. The hornet and countless ants are entangled. Its mandibles chomp furiously. Its stinger jabs wildly, leaving the ants reeling. The ants, however, keep charging in waves. They know unity is strength. Just then, the hornet is bitten down to the ground, and the ants swarm over. The hornet is in grave danger. In pain and rage, it heaves itself up, breaking through the encirclement. But there's nowhere to hide. The ants keep attacking the hornet. Things look grim for the hornet now. Sure enough, in no time, it falls again. It can only defend with its stinger, and its mandibles don't rest. It grabs an ant and finishes it off. This indiscriminate attack inflicts heavy losses on the ants. By now many ants have lost combat power, but they haven't given up. They keep fighting. The hornet is a spent arrow now. Its strength is nearly gone. Finally, it collapses again, and this time it can't get back up. It just twitches on the ground. It's basically done for. In the end, the acrobat ants win. But it's a Pyrrhic victory. They were almost wiped out by the hornet. Lastly, let's clamp the hornet out and take a look. Oh my god. Many acrobat ants perish together with the hornet. Truly brutal. Haha. -ha. Turns out this isn't a handy trick for wiping out hornets.